We're familiar with the basic outline of the story of the spies. The Jews believed the bad report of 10 of the 12 spies, claiming that they wouldn't be able to conquer the inhabitants of the land of Israel because they were too strong. And they're punished for their lack of faith in God. Those 10 spies are killed, and the rest of the Jews are told that they'll have to wander for an additional 40 years in the desert, one year for every day that the spies had spent in the land. Now, there are those who say that the reason that the Jews didn't want to enter the land was not because they didn't believe in God or they didn't have faith. Of course they had faith. They knew God was on their side, and they knew they'd be victorious if they went into the Holy Land. After all, God has a longer undefeated streak in fights than does Rocky Marciano. So what was the problem? The reason they didn't want to go into the Holy Land is they wanted to stay in the desert, to hang on to that miraculous existence and that miraculously close relationship with God. Their food, manna, fell from the sky. Their water came from a well that would travel with them. There was a cloud that traveled above them that made sure they had better weather than in San Diego. Their clothes never wore out. So they were able to concentrate on their relationship with God. They didn't have to worry about the things they'd have to concern themselves with in the Holy Land, politics and agriculture. So they wanted to stay in the desert. So if you think of it that way, being told they had to spend another 40 years there wasn't a punishment. It was rather yet another example of God giving people what they wanted, because that's what God does. He'll lead a person in the direction that the person wants to go. Now, I worry sometimes. I love baseball, and I hope to live a long life. But I always wonder, if I'm lucky enough when I shuffle off and I get to heaven, what if I get there and they give me what I love, and they throw me a baseball? I'm guessing that heaven is a spiritual place. I don't know if I'll have anybody with whom to play. I know you'll tell me that Sandy Koufax, the legendary pitcher for the Dodgers, will also be there. In light of his incredibly inspiring decision not to pitch when the World Series fell out on Yom Kippur. But either way, I've got a problem. If Koufax is restored to his former health, I'll be lucky to even foul a ball off of him. And if not, well, his arm, unfortunately, is shot, and we won't even be able to have a catch. And so like doctors and friends will often tell someone who's a little overweight that they should mix some salads into their diet, perhaps we should be careful to mix some spirituality into our list of priorities. Thank you.